Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel, and today I'm going to be re reviewing one of my favorite pieces of gear. Uh, this is a little mighty little powerhouse of a stove. It's an ultralight backpacking stove, and it's made by a guy's uh, guys called Mini Tattoo. I am at Tuolumne Meadows. This is uh, Tanaya Lake right behind me uh, in beautiful Yosemite National Park. <laughs> You can find these guys on Facebook. There's the link to their fan page right there. But uh, this is the stove right here. It's a solid piece of billet aluminum with a little uh, nipple valve on the end here. And uh, this is the wick. No moving parts. You also get the cap and the fuel line. And you get a alcohol bottle, plastic bottle, to put your denatured alcohol in. And the way this works is you unscrew this little guy, screw on your fuel cap bottle, like so, put the hose on the end, I'll get a little closer so you can see, put the hose on the end there, and then you basically just squeeze the bottle, and then this wick will get wet, and you light it, and that's the, that's the whole bit. It's, uh, it's really, really efficient, I usually use a piece of aluminum foil just as a windscreen because it's ultra lightweight and it packs down small. You just give your guy a little squeeze here, fuel will come out of here, and then we'll go into the wick. You can tell when the wick gets wet, it'll start to, you can see the, there he goes, there's the fluid. Okay, we're good. super windy here I'm sorry there it goes it's lit get your little pot stand which it comes with and I give it a little windscreen protection here put your pot on there and you're good to go just like that some water in You can see that very well, but I'm gonna to try to move the camera around a little bit here. That's basically it. It's no moving parts, it's real efficient, and uh, with the windscreen, it just works really, really good comes with the uh, the pot stand, the fuel line, the bottle, and um, and of course the stove. Yeah, it's just a great great uh great design. One of my favorites. Thanks for checking out my review. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I'll be sure to answer them as quickly as I can. Thanks again, guys, and get outdoors.